This is a real uh, honor and a pleasure for me. I am a huge Kevin Murphy flag waver, <laughs> as, the, as the guys that watch this know. Um, so actually to be sat with Kevin Murphy and not just one of his bottles, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Thank you. Thank you, that's very nice. <laughs> so we are here because you have got a brand new initiative yes. being launched. Yeah, so OWP. Yeah, so OWP is Ocean Waste Plastic. So we um, we started the initiative about maybe like a year ago, and we made the commitment to go 100% um, recycled products made from ocean waste plastic. We looked at a lot of um, different versions of using different types of plastic. So we looked at the bio plastic, which is the plastic that's made from say wheat or starch, uh, and we found that we the, the plastic the ocean waste plastic was the best option for us because it reduces the total amount of plastic that's in the world. But we decided that we wanted to go 100%. So that means the caps, the pumps, the overcaps, so everything must go sort of thing. So I think that was very important to us as a brand to do that. Your products, I would say, in this sort of hair care business, and especially for us guys, I think are, and I'm not just saying this to you, I'm sat next to you, but are some, <laughs> are some of the best. Do you have a favorite product that you always go to? Or I one think that you always recommend? The one that I go to every time, sort of thing, because my hair is like thick-ish mm -hmm. sort of thing, but if I use too strong a product, it goes really thin, and I hate that thin look, so I go Freehold is my yeah. favorite men's product. Um, I think for shampooing and stuff like that, I'm always like a repair person. Yeah. But also, um, Restore is a really good one for me because it's um, my hair goes fluffy. And if I make it too clean, I've got this like, fluffy little ball on top of my head. So I use the Restore because it, it doesn't change the pH of your hair. So you don't have to go through that very squeaky shampoo and then a very moist conditioner because that, that pH is going all over the place. So it keeps it at a sort of, it doesn't keep it dirty, but it keeps it not super clean. So you don't have to whack a whole lot of product in it. I'm a big fan of anti-gravity. Okay. The spray, right. but also the cream. Because I've got okay. very fine hair, so I need uh -huh. sort of an instant boost. And I love Night Rider. Okay, I yeah. love Rough Rider. Ah, I like, Rough Rider's too thick for me. Yeah, I really <laughs> like Rough Rider. Yeah. And um, I actually quite like the oiliness to it. I like okay. it it gives them a more sort of sleek look. Okay. There is one product that you have discontinued that actually someone on Instagram asked about it and it was Gritty Business. Okay, what, so what happened Okay, so Gritty Business, what happened was um, there's, um, there's always lots of regulations mm -hmm. in the world and our grits were quite big sort of thing. So we, um, we had to change the size of the grit okay. and once you change the size of the grit, it wasn't quite the same anymore. So um, what we were concerned about was um, the, the small little capsules, so like those little plastic capsules yeah. and they're, they're now banned. Okay. Uh, we got ahead of that before that happened. Um, so Night Riders, sorry, Rough Riders are our closest thing to it, sort of thing. Um, we've had a lot of people asking for gritty business to come back, but I need to make sure that the grits that are in there are better for the environment. So it was an environmental reason that we had to get rid of it, uh, and we didn't really want anyone to have any grits in their no. eyes because there was no. a lot of yeah. talk about the grits, yeah. but yeah. we call them grits, but I think they're called they're called plastic like plastic particles. Make them yeah, plastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can't have that. Yeah. It was a yeah. it was a great product. When I was yeah. first starting out on YouTube, it was a product I used religiously and I absolutely loved it. But as you say, Rough Rider kind of gives you that. It that gives you that. I think if you can use, um, we've got one called um, it's called Powder Puff. Okay, yes. It's probably it's not so masculine in the packaging yeah. sort of yeah. thing. But if you can get yourself around that, you can use a bit of the Rough Rider yeah. and put a bit of the Powder Puff in it, yeah. and that will actually give you that same yeah. uh, consistency as gritty business. Yeah. Yeah. I am a huge Powder Puff fan, and I okay. think powders for anyone watching this are, are a great sort of versatile product to yeah. sort of style and give a little bit of texture. If you could give a guy watching this mm -hmm. top tips to perfect hair. Okay. What would it be? Uh, I think the one mistake that people make the most is they, they get their product, they go like this and they go <coughs> straight in the front and then all the products in the front. So the best thing to do is to get the product, you've got to wipe backwards first and then wipe forwards and that's okay. going to give you even distribution sort of thing and you won't have to go for extra products then, and then you just go <coughs> so it goes, we yeah. go backwards Sorry, forwards, forwards, then backwards, and then on the sides, and that's enough sort of okay. thing. And that's gonna distribute the product all the way through your hair instead of just one big clump at the front. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm glad that that's what I do. So I, okay. I feel like I, <laughs> I'm doing the right thing from the master here. Yeah. What I'll do is, guys, I will link absolutely everything that Kevin has spoken about. Also a bit more about the Ocean Waste Plastics <laughs> on manfromself.com or WP. There'll be more about it there and also all about the products. But thank you very much. My, pl really, my pleasure, thank you. Really nice to meet you. Great to talk to you. Thanks for listening, everyone. Yes. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.